Hi guys, today we are going to do a slightly different stretching routine and we are going to move a chair or an armchair, whatever you have. Today is going to be a bit more ballet bar inspired and we are going to work on some basic, basic stretches that are basically the foundation of exercises we might want to do later on that will help us to lift our legs higher up into the air as high as we would like eventually want them to, to be lifted. So let's get started. We are just going to start in like, um, like a slightly wide second position. Points are po um, toes, toes, toes are pointing out and we're just gonna do some plies. Some people like to call them sumo squats, I believe. Basically, we want to keep our back straight and we just want to do a couple of these. You can put your hands on your hips for a bit more of the ballet feel, even though we aren't technically doing ballet. We're just doing some stretches and exercises that might help with that. Hips are cracking. Bring your feet together, point out one toe, and we're just gonna slide them in and out. And the other side. I don't know if you can hear, but all of my joints are cracking right now. Together into like a first position just like a 90 degrees angle from the feet and I want you to turn them all the way out especially not if you're not used to any ballet exercises and we're just going to do some bouncing in here I'm doing a terrible first foot position for anyone watching who actually is doing ballet totally doing it on purpose but I just want to just want to warm up a little bit okay bring your feet together parallel Walking. And lift the whole feet, whole foot, and the side. Um, talking isn't always in strength while I'm doing exercises at the same time. Hold on to something, turn out your legs a little bit, and we're just going to swing the legs through. Always lift them into an attitude at the front and at the back. So this is the position you want to go for. This is the position of the back you want to go for. It doesn't have to be a perfect ballet position because we're just going through to do some more. Okay, same thing, hold on to something. We're going to do this sideways. You can lean against the wall with your hands or not. You can balance if you would like. But 
I'm just warming up, so I'm stressed about it. Bend your knees, roll back up, one time, roll down, bend your knees, and roll back up, one last time, roll down, bend your knees, and roll back up. Now to the exercise. So we want to start in first position. So in ballet, that means open your toes. Do not open them super wide, especially if you don't come from ballet. Just go for like a nice tiny turn out because this isn't the part of the exercise. We need to turn out our toes a little bit, but just open them like a little bit for this exercise. Yeah? Unless you're a ballet dancer, then do your thing. But for all the non-ballet dancers, tiny first position. What we want to do is we're going to place one of our feet onto our chairs, however high that is. You can place it here, you can place it on here, you can swap your chair around and place it on here, whichever works best for you. I'm just going to, for presentation purposes, going to put it on the armrest of your arm chair. Make sure you give your leg a nice good turn up to the side and turn it out. So what we're going to do there, we just want to move forward onto this knee, up onto the knee, I'm sorry, onto the leg, do not put any pressure on the knee, absolutely do not do that please. Just going to move forward a couple times. Okay, and then stay there on the last one. Now we want to bend the other knee a couple times. Make sure your knee doesn't fall over to the side, but the knee comes straight over where your toe is. Okay. Same thing you would do if you would be squatting. You always make sure your knees don't fall in. You keep them torn out. Not torn, but you keep pushing them out so you don't injure the knees. Times. I didn't count, <laughs> so we're just going to do however. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to turn both feet parallel. So we're not turning the legs out anymore, we're turning them parallel. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to walk forward and backward. Again, make sure you don't put your weight on your knee. Do not put your weight on your knee, ever. <laughs> and on the next one, we're just going to hold there for a couple times. 
few times, a couple seconds I mean. Come down first and turn, or if you are a dancer, this is probably all super easy for you. So you can just wiggle yourself around until you're in a good sideways position. A couple notes on this one if we're coming from like a slightly open position, our leg isn't going to be directly next to us, it's going to be a little bit in front of us. So basically, if you were to follow your toe and put it wherever you are. So I'm just gonna put it a little bit in front of me on the on the other arm wrist because otherwise I'm very at the back. I don't naturally have a good turnout, so this is what I gotta do for that. So now, these muscles wanna turn everything backwards. The knees, they wanna go backwards. This is where we are. So what we're gonna do here is we just wanna try and stretch towards the side. Remember, make sure you don't fall in with your knee. Make sure your knee pushes back. Yeah? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? Now we want to come parallel again. I'm going to put my knee down a little bit because this is very hard. You might have to put your knee down a little bit because now both toes are pointing forward. This is a bit of an awkward situation. So make sure to lower your leg to wherever you need to be so there isn't any pressure on your knees. Also make sure to use all of these muscles in your leg so there isn't any pressure. Uh, any gravity <laughs> pulling on your knee on the way down because that's going to put extra pressure on me. Slightly harder one. Now we want to turn around. If you didn't put your leg down or further down before that, you might need to do it now. You might need to get something a little lower. And 
but I'd maybe put it on a shoebox or just any small box or whatever you have at your hand. Um, and this time I'm going to start with a these to add a little bit first. We're not going to do the moving back because that's bad, right? So we're just going to do it with these two, three, four. These exercises might be putting some pressure on your knee depending on your, your body. I can feel that they can be quite tough on my knees if I put my leg up higher. So either put your leg down, further down, or put it even on the floor, or just don't do this exercise at all. Okay, we're gonna, oh, we turn parallel by the way. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, come out of it. Shake up both legs, especially this one, because we we kept it tight. We did keep it tight. I hope you all did. To protect our knee this whole time so these muscles might be a bit of losing. I'm going to move my chair around so I'm not going to be standing with the back to you guys for the whole other side. So we're going to start everything on the other side. I'm going to start with the front leg to the front, everything turned out and then forward and backward. Remember Muscles always engaged to protect our knees. Ballet, this is gonna feel a bit weird. It feels a bit weird to me to have my leg out there and not have it like this, but have it like this. But it's a different type of muscle we want to stretch, so we're gonna do what we're gonna do. Let's come forward and backward a couple of times. Stay down there for a couple of seconds. Nine and ten. Okay, I'll come 
more out of it or wiggle yourself out and back. Just kind of like this. And we're just gonna go whoop. Balance, balance is hard. Just gonna come to a side stretch a couple of times. Either you might be able to keep the leg at the same height for this one. I find this very uncomfortable. Come down a little bit. So head both my toes forward. In this especially engage your muscles. Protect your knees. Sideways a couple of times. away the hand on the knee. Somewhere down here, grabbing your lower leg is good. If you can't do that, push your hands on the hips. Problems, you either need to you can feel this on your knee, I can feel the pressure a little bit, but it's okay for me personally. But if you feel any pressure, um, please put put the foot down or don't do this exercise at all. I'm just gonna go three ten times one, two. Down. This did use our back muscles and our glutes quite a lot in our legs, so what we're going to do is we just want to stretch them out. Sit 
down on your chi and just give your legs a good hug. So it's all a bit more warm. And then we are done for today. I hope you enjoyed this.